Holy crap, look at that four-wheel drive bus. That's awesome. I need something like that. Alright, we're gonna head over to the camp spot before it gets too late. It's already a quarter to four. In 200 feet, turn left on the Lazy Days Boulevard. So like I said, it's only 17 miles from where we are. Actually, it's saying 16. Wasn't too bad of a cracker barrel to overnight. Very busy one, I guess, because it's right by this Lazy Day dealership. Since there's a Flying J here, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and get gas because I'm right below a half a tank. Mm, oh, they do have an RV spot. Awesome. Take the next right, then turn left. Okay, Charlie, you'll have to pause that for a second. Okay, gas here was 314, but with my five cents off from my Flying J card, it was only 309. It was 100 bucks to fill up. We have looked at gas stations around the area and most of them were 330 to 335, so this was the cheapest. Head north toward Tampa Gateway Boulevard. Well, do. At the light, turn right onto Mango Road. Well, oh. In 800 feet, turn right onto That's the nice I-4 rig. West ramp to Tampa. Esteem. Head east on East Sly Avenue toward Mango Road, then turn right onto Mango Road. It's a big one. Head east, then slide left. Okay, so we have to go left when we get out of here. At the light, turn left onto Mango Road. You want to go to the right, don't you? Oh. You want to get on the freeway? Yeah, I don't know why it's telling me to go left. Drive directly. You want to go through Surface Street. Okay. In 800 feet, turn right onto the I-4 West ramp to Tampa. It rerouted. Turn right onto the I-4 West ramp. Will do. What time is it now? It is 4.09. On I-4 West for one mile. So we should be there and settled in about 4.30, hopefully. Yeah, this camera in general is better with the lighting. The screen's not all washed out from the sun. Mud hole, not really muddy. First water hole, that was easy. Call Dave. Sure, calling Dave and Bella. Uh, hello, Asia. Asia, is that what your phone <laughs> says I am? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it, when it's in driving mode, it says who it is and uh, uh, Beverly calls you off, yeah. 
Um, they do have cell towers right at the beginning of the camps, uh, campground, and yes, there is a uh, cell here. Okay, okay, Auntie. Okay, David. I, uh, I'm just pulling out, well, actually, I built in the parking lot, but I'm, I'm behind the wheel and we are moving. Oh, okay, well, we'll see you when you get here. All right. All right, bye. Bye. Oh. Oh, wow, that one was kind of deep. Something fell back there. I guess in the truck it doesn't seem as bad, but in a motorhome I can feel how deep these ruts are. I probably should be trying to go a little bit around them. <laughs> yeah, those, uh, you might want to miss those potholes. They're a lot deeper than I realized. Yeah, I'm going a little bit to the left. I find that a little better. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, this one looks like a deep one, too. So we'll just skirt it to the right. Perfect. What do you think, Mumu, huh? <laughs> Okay, I think this is the last, the big one that encompasses the whole road. This is where that little stream actually goes through, but I don't think it was soft ground. No, it's not. A lot of rock there. Okay, good. And I'll kind of try to center myself over this one. Oh, wow. Go a little bit over on that side. Okay, this is kind of the tight area. And this is the last and final, I guess, mud hole. And that one seems pretty firm, not mushy. Mushy is bad. Oh, looks like someone slid on that side. Let me go over here. Yay, we made it. Seems like more campers have shown up. Well, actually only one more. So we'll pull to the one in the far. Nobody has his first picture. Your destination is on the left. left. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just pull straight back here. I'll definitely have to unhook the truck. Just gonna pull onto this side over here. Okay, I think this is a perfect spot. It's actually a beautiful time of the day. Sun's just starting to go away or set. Well, Dave and Bella made it. So we're in this nice corner just tucked away. Since it's almost sunset, we decided to take the dogs for a little stroll. They do have this hiking trail here or walking trail. Looks like vehicles can go down it, but I don't think they're supposed to. No vehicles. Beyond this point, okay. Oh, I see, I see the hiking and equestrian. Oh, dogs are being crazy. So it's a bit muddy back here, or mucky. Stay in the middle of the road. It's very peaceful this time of day. I can hear the crickets, I'm not sure if that's loud enough for y'all to hear. All right. We have a Y here. Ooh, that's a little pond in the middle of the road. I guess we'll continue forward. Come on, Mumu. Go! <laughs> Kellogg the blocker. Now we've come up to a T, but it is starting to get somewhat muddy. So we're probably going to turn around here. 
Yeah, there's that puddle over here. It looks a bit overgrown the further on you go. I don't know if a lot of people use this or not. That one doesn't look as bad, but it still looks muddy. Does it? This one. Does it curve back around? It may curve back around. Yeah, in fact, it makes it look like it was where we had that fork. Okay. Okay, well, we can take this way then. Just stay out of the mud. Okay, I guess that's going to be a no. It gets pretty soppy back here. Come on, we'll go. She's like, no. And Kellogg's running the opposite way. Come on, Mama. No. Don't drink the water, Kellogg. All right, we're going to head back. Seen the white and the green lichen before, but I've never seen this kind of pinky mauve color lichen. That's beautiful. Wow. Oh, look, mushrooms. I mean, you almost stepped on it. Well, this was a short walk, but it was a nice one. I enjoy the thickly wooded areas like this. Oh my God, get it, get it. It's as big as you get it. What did that piece of log do to you? Get it, get it, get it, get it. It's a bad log, bad log, bad log. Get it. You gotta get that log. Silly. Okay, come on. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yes, Kellogg can be a spaz sometimes. Well, we made it back to camp. So we've come to the Sunrise Eatery. It was just pretty loud, but it kind of quieted down a little bit. We're gonna grab some breakfast and then do some exploring. So they do serve breakfast all day long. Mm. They have the normal food. They've got sandwiches, burgers, all American favorites like meatloaf and stuff like that. Oh, here's the breakfast at the end. Sunrise specials. So Jeff ended up getting the, what is it, Hawaiian burger? And it has onion rings on it. What's all on it? Bacon. Bacon? And then a pineapple sauce. Oh, pineapple sauce makes it the Hawaiian. And I just got the French toast special with two eggs, two sausage, and two bacon. Caution, wildlife crossing. It's a turtle. <laughs> Watch out for those turtles. So we've come here to Hillsborough State Park to do a little exploring. We heard there was some cool stuff here and also to take the dogs for a little stroll. The park entrance fee is $6 per vehicle. $6. Have a good day. You too. Wow, it's very lush here. It's like completely covered in palms. Prayer of the Woods is that hiking trail. The one we want to go to is, I think, what'd you say, three or three, four? Three, which is the big one, if that's all one of four. Wow, look at that rig there. It's got a back porch and a deck. Oh, actually, two decks on top. Look at those. Solar panels there. Got that massive bracket system. Pretty cool. I think it's just a converted um, shuttle bus or it kind of looks like a class C, but it has an overhang in the front. It is beautiful here. Let's do a little exploring. They do have an alligator safety sign. These are amazing animals are important to Florida's natural area and found throughout the state. A few simple rules to coexist. Yes, keep your pets away. Never feed the alligators. And no swimming, obviously. They have some restrooms right at the beginning. And looks like they have pavilions with picnic tables. So you can have a cookout here. They do have camping here from primitive all the way up to full hookups. And I believe you can just go on their website and check out how much their pricing is. I think it's 
25 to 35 dollars depending on what you get yeah nice park so here is the map where are we at we should let me see we should be yeah that's where the arrow is yeah over this way that that one's this one's closed so way. this is the trail heads that are all along here and we have the campgrounds that are the loops here and youth camp Pool, but the pool is cool. Oh, pool, cool. Pool, cool. Oh, this this says the Florida Trail is 3.2 miles. Yeah, that's the big one. The Brainerd Trail is the one. There's that primitive campground I was talking about. Oh. And then, oh, that's what we want to go see, the suspension bridge. So we're not that far from that. Suspension bridge, Baynard Trail. Oh, they do have a nice playground here if you have kids. More picnic tables, those ones are cool, very rustic, built out of stone and cement. Do you know which way it is? Probably where the sign is over here. There's uh, another trail that goes this way too. It is definitely a beautiful day today. And it's nice walking in the shade all the trees and palm trees. Hillsboro River Watershed. A watershed is an area of land that funnels water towards a stream, river, lake, or coast. Regardless of where you live, you do live in a watershed. So there's a reservoir, the river, green, green swamp, Crystal Springs, that's cool. And this is right by Tampa Bay. Foot traffic only. This is the first bridge here. Oh, wow. Look at the water source. It's very calm. And beautiful. Oh, it's a, I think it's part of the river. Or watershed, whatever. Yeah, it goes back that way too. Nice. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful back here. What amazing trail. Oh, we gotta go the other way for the bridge? Yeah, this is staying on this side of the road. Okay, all right. Okay, I guess we'll be backtracking. Jeff thought that was the suspension bridge, but it's clearly not. We can still go walk across it. So the map's not very clear. We're gonna go check out this bridge and then go back the way we were headed. Oh, you can't even cross this bridge. Surface bridge, okay. Bridge closed. Yeah, as you can see, it's starting to rot away. That would be very dangerous. This bridge sustains severe damage from Hurricane Irma. In the interest of public safety, the bridge will remain closed indefinitely or until engineers' repairs have been completed. Please use suspension bridge across the river as access to the trails. Wow, look at this picnic area. It even has a fireplace. Fireplace is always good. I guess it's actually a cooking fireplace. It is. Very nice. Wow, that's awesome. Where? There's a squirrel catalog. Oh, on the trash can. Can y'all see him? I'll zoom in, hold on. There he goes on the trash can. Too funny. Please do not feed wildlife. Kellogg, they need a sign for you saying, please do not eat wildlife. All right, we're gonna hopefully make it to the suspension bridge. It's a beautiful place to just hang out, even fish or just spend the day with friends and family. <laughs> Look at the puppy. Wanted to say hello. Okay, the sign says suspension bridge this way. I did show this on the other channel, the wild coffee plants. So here's some information if you wanna pause and read. 
This is the wild coffee plant right here. Hello. Oh, oh alligator? So go around the bend. Uh huh. And his half his body is off the out of the water and his head is in the water. So oh wow, thank you. She was telling us about an alligator, so we might be able to see one today. Well, here's the bend of the river. Wow, this place is amazing. See where she was talking about? Huh. Shh, Kellogg. They do have a path that leads down, but I probably wouldn't want to go down there. That probably wouldn't be too smart since there are alligators. For the protection of our natural and cultural resources, please stay on the designated trails away from the rapids. I wouldn't really call them rapids, but still haven't seen any sign of the alligator. We had to backtrack, but if you look right there by that tree right here, I had to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's just laying there very still. We almost missed it. Was in the water, yeah. Now he's completely out of the water. It was like, where's Waldo? Couldn't find it. All right, we're going to the suspension bridge now. It's right up here. We saw it, but turned around because we wanted to see the alligator. Are these cypress? Cypress, usually, yeah, they grow right at the water's edge. Those are huge. Here's a suspension bridge. I'm not sure if you can see the cable there. It's right there. We're going to continue on the Baynard Trail, which is part of the suspension bridge is part of that. Wow, pretty cool. Wow, look at how cool this tree. Yeah, the whole bridge is moving. How beautiful. Yeah, the bridge is definitely moving. I guess that's what suspension bridges do. Bouncy, bouncy. Well, that was too cool. This is what we wanted to come see. It's this awesome suspension bridge. So straight ahead is the Baynard Trail, and to the left is the Seminole Trail. That was a long one. Kellogg, did you find that baby alligator or a lizard? There's the Seminole Trail right there. That's the three and a half mile one. What is that? A plaque? Baynard Natural Trail dedicated to Oscar E. Baynard, first superintendent. Nice. From 1938 to 1945. There's the other path on that side over there. We're gonna continue on the loop. I think it just goes by the river. I feel like I'm in the jungle. Go, Kelly, go. The alligator adults can get 10 to 15 feet long, and they have 80 sharp teeth. You hear that, Kellogg? 80 sharp teeth. Oh look, it's Kellogg's favorite buddy, the Eastern Gray Squirrel. These taller palms that you're seeing are the cabbage palm. Memo, you enjoying yourself? All the short ones are saw palmetto. It's a low growing palm that looks like a shrub. Has fawns up to three feet across. Also, the berries on this plant have been used in herbal medicines. I think it's good for like prostate health. They sell them at the drugstore, so. This is what you see in the area when it comes to oak trees. It is the live oak. Here's some information if you want to pause and read. Wow, it can reach up to it, 60 feet tall. I really do enjoy these nature walks, especially here in this area. So much to see. It's just very relaxing. Oh wow, look at that live oak. Sucker's huge, it grows all the way over the path. 
Ooh, way over there. I think we're about halfway through the trail. This part of the path is a bit on the mucky side. And back on the boardwalk. I think we're coming back around to the beginning of the trail. Or maybe not. Well, this is definitely a wetter area. Swampy, Mumu, swampy. Oh, pretty cool. They have the red-shouldered hawk. I'm not sure if you can read that, but here's some information about it. Medium-sized hawk with reddish barring on its chest. Wings have a checkered appearance, red patches on shoulders, starts on the back and spans up about 40 inches. Tail is black with thin white bands. So a mile in that direction is where we're camping. Didn't realize we were so close until Jeff looked it up on the map. So here's another critter that is here, the barred owl. Here's some information if you want to pause and read. Just want to give you a feel of what camping was like here. So pretty basic. You have the plug-ins and the water available. There's picnic tables. Some of the spots are pretty close together. But it's nice and shaded. Definitely don't need the solar since you're plugged in. We have the tenting sites. I guess you can just use any of the sites for tenting. Oh, wow, look at these tents coming up. I think these are the preset tents. They have AC in them right there. If you could pause at this one, Jeff. Oh, that's nice looking. That's site 21. It's called Timberland Glamping. <laughs> Definitely glamping. Oh, they have more. These are more the TP style. Ish, or, or, or yurt, I guess you would call it. Nice glamping. And one more tent. Yeah, they have very unusual sites, the placement and the size and how they're laid out. Some are sideways like that one and then some are regular. Feels wonderful here. It's nice and cool because all the the shade. I believe they do have large bathrooms with showers in it that you can use if you're not self-contained. Oh, look at that old truck camper. That is cool. I love that. Actually, I think my dad had an old Chevy truck like that. Or maybe his was Ford, but his was painted brown. That is too cool. Love the vintage. We do have recycling and dumpsters. There's their large bathroom. The road coming in has got a lot of potholes. I think they would maintain it better since it's a state park, but it is what it is. We're going to go check out one more loop and then go to the rapids. So we just came from Hammock Circle. This is River's Edge. I think there are several loops, but we're just gonna... Yeah, some are supposed to be on the river. On the river? They're, they're more, they're $5 more per on the river. Oh, $5 more, that's not bad. So it seems like I said there are all different kind of spots and all different kind of rigs. Well, that's a big rig there. We have fifth wheels here, a lot of fifth wheels. Truck campers, air streams. <laughs> oh, there's two side by side, neat. Some diesel pushers. Some small pull behind trailers. And as you saw earlier, some tent camping. Oh, look at that kind of camper right there, the white one. Oh, I think that's just to pull their bikes and stuff. Another airstream, pull behind trailer, and a truck camper. Oh, sorry, a tent. And another pull behind with a huge slide on the back. 
There's the truck camper. And a diesel pusher. Yeah. Pretty neat sights here. Oh, that's the camp post that we just passed. So I'm sure each circle has a camp post. And then each area has dumpsters and recycling. Okay. That is it for the camping. The only weird thing is that the main circle is one way. So if you pass something, you have to go all the way around to get back to it. Like we'll have to do the complete circle because we passed parking area one. I think, isn't that where the rapids are? Here's the prayer of the woods if you want to pause and read it. So this is a third of a mile trail, not too bad. And another sign about poison ivy, three leaves, let it be. There's a hickory tree here. And it is the pig nut hickory. Often found in hardwood forests. Here's some information if you want to pause and read. Please take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. What is it? So this is the American hornbeam. I think this is it right here. And here's some information if you want to pause and read. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, the red-shouldered hawk, like we saw earlier. I don't see any up in the trees. Or the canopy. Did you find a hawk in the palm, Kellogg? <laughs> no, probably just a lizard. I hear the rapids. Can you hear them? Hopefully it's better than that last place that said there were rapids, but it wasn't really rapids. Do not enter water, no swimming, bathing, or wading. I mean, they're not super rapids. Those are more like gentle rapids. Still pretty. Now that's a cypress, I can tell by the roots there. All right, we're gonna continue on. That was pretty cool. Magnolia. Oh, Southern Magnolia. One of my favorite trees, the, at least the bloom in the tree. There it is there. Here's some information if you wanna pause and read. Squirrel up there. Is that what Kellogg is so obsessed with? Oh yeah. Oh no, I'll get, that leaf was blocking. Oh, there's a squirrel right there. Oh, look at how uh, that vine is growing up that live oak. They have the beautyberry growing here. And here's some information. Okay, let's continue on. We don't have that much further to go. Then we're gonna head back to camp. It is nice and cool here. And look at the view. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there's a fork in the river right there. Oh yeah, we'd seen these fern. before. That's it. Yeah. So the resurrection fern is the one, the fern that grows on trees. Of course, everybody knows Spanish moss, bromelade, and the uh, wood pine. Oh, that's the cypress tree, yeah, that grows in the water. Those are called cypress knees. Oh, the knees? That's how they get the oxygen. It says there's two theories. Their function provides support, unstable swamp or less likely to pick it up. Do you see any turtles? Ancestors of these cold-blooded reptiles appeared on Earth two million years ago. Usually they're like resting on logs that are sticking out like that one. Oh no, there they are in the green area. Let's see if we can zoom. Yep, right there. I don't know if you can see them, they're kind of small. Even though this is one of the shortest trails here, I think it's got a lot packed in it. 
Oh, okay. Oh, we're, we're done with this. We're on a different one? This is a nice high boardwalk. Oh, awesome view of the river. Can we see anything? Nope, no creatures. There's another boardwalk here that runs along the river. I think this leads to the suspension bridge and our path was back there just a little bit. So if you wanted to explore here all day, you definitely could. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Big hole. Mumu, look at it. It's your little cabin. Up, up. Want to get out there? It's your cabin. Kellogg's like, mine, mine. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this old cypress. Oh, you can take your picture in there, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, stand there. Show how big this tree is. Go ahead, Kellogg. Kellogg. It's huge. He's like, is that your little man cave? <laughs> That's huge. You see any quitty crawlers, huh? Spiders or lizards? Wow. It's a cool tree. And what are the spiky things called again? Cypress knees. Cypress knees. They definitely have a bunch of smaller paths that lead down to the river. There is a bank there, so or a ledge, so it's not right at the water. Kind of looks like it, but no, it falls down about three feet. I guess just like across the river there. You can see the embankment, it's pretty tall. Now we're just following the path along the river. What is that over there? Is that in the bush? Is that an alligator? Oh, there's another path over there. I see someone walking. Yeah, at least the embankment here is pretty steep. So nothing can just come jumping up at you. Huh? Oh, could be. Yeah, that's right. So that's where we were earlier, Jeff was pointing out. That first trail. Okay. I think we're getting back on the main trail. So here's some information about the food chain in the hammock. Okay, we made it back to the suspension bridge. So we completed the loop. Right here to the left should be a trail that will cut back to our parking area. Come on, Mumu. That's a pretty large tree stump there. And this is the continuation of the rapids trail. Wow, look at all the cypress. It's beautiful. Here's some information about the cypress swamp if you want to pause and read. This is the red cedar. You can see the leaves over here. It's kind of hard to see because of the other vegetation. But here's some information if you want to pause and read. We've almost made it back to the front. That was definitely a lot longer than I was expecting, but it was lovely. Well, we made it back to camp. It was an awesome day today. I had a lot of fun. A lot longer of a trail than, or a hike than was expected, but it was still fun. We're gonna be leaving here tomorrow. Today was our last day here. You can check out at 11, and then we have another um, reservation for nine days, I believe. So that's gonna be a long stay at another WMA. And then after that, I think we have some paid camping that's coming up. 
and then we'll be heading out of Florida. So thanks y'all for hanging out with us. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon right there. Bye y'all.